subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. All of us at some point in our lives have probably been bitten by ants. But have you ever wondered how such tiny creatures, which can be squished to death with one finger, are able to so easily puncture your skin? In fact, why just ants? Several small creatures such as spiders and scorpions depend on their powerful sting and bite to survive. In a new study published in the nature journal Scientific Reports, scientists for the first time have analyzed how individual atoms of zinc make the tiny mandibles of the ant such a powerful tool. In this episode, we talk about how tiny creatures can so easily slice, puncture or sting and how researchers were able to reveal the built-in set of tools that ants, worms and spiders have been gifted by nature. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. According to the scientists from University of Oregon and the US Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, there are two classes of biological materials which are enriched with inorganic elements used in claws, teeth, stings and other such animal tools. The first class are biomineralized tissues. These have calcium, iron and silicon based minerals such as teeth and bones. They usually consist of organic material with nanometer scale mineral inclusions. The second class of enriched materials researchers have termed as metal halogen or heavy element biomaterials. The inorganic elements are heavy metals or halogens such as zinc, manganese, bromine and copper. Heavy element biomaterials commonly occur in many insects including spiders, centipedes, crustaceans and marine worms. In the latest study, the team looked at measuring the potential advantages associated with heavy element biomaterials by measuring the range of mechanical properties and their composition on the nanometer scale. The study for the first time reveals that individual atoms of zinc are arranged to maximize cutting efficiency and maintain the sharpness of these exquisitely constructed tiny animal tools. This intricate arrangement of atoms is nature's solution to enable tiny creatures to cut and puncture with relative ease. Consider the ant tooth. These structures are technically called mandibular teeth because they are attached outside of their mouths. Researchers found that these teeth are made of a network of material that tightly binds individual atoms of zinc. The effect is that a mandible packs more than 8% of the tooth weight with zinc. For the team at the University of Oregon, these specialized insect tools have been a subject of decades long research. The team of biophysicists have even developed a new techniques to measure the hardness, elasticity, abrasion resistance and the impact resistance on a miniature scale. To be able to actually see the structure of material that make up ant teeth and other microscopic animal tools at the atomic scale, researchers use a specialized microscope technique called atom probe tomography. The technique involves using a focused iron beam microscope to take a sample from the tip of an ant's tooth using a tiny needle. Then the needle sample is imaged using atom probe tomography which is done by evaporating atoms from the specimen and projecting the resultant ions onto a detector. The technique destroys the sample but allows scientists to create a 3D map of the sample as well as decode its atomic level composition. Using this technique, the team identified how individual atoms are arranged near the tip of an ant's tooth recording for the first time the nanoscale distribution of zinc atoms in the ant tooth. Instead of being clustered in nano nodules, the researchers were surprised to see that the zinc is uniformly distributed in the tooth. The research team estimated that because these biomaterials can be sharper, 
They make it possible for the animals to use 60% or even less of the force that they would have to use if their tools were made of materials similar to that found in human teeth. Because less force is required, their smaller muscles spend less energy. These advantages may explain why every spider, ant, worms, crustaceans and many other groups of organisms have these specialized tools. The researchers studied many organisms including leaf cutter ants obtained from colonies of Guatemala and Trinidad, Nereid worms or Alita brentii collected from trenches dug in sandbars near the mouth of the Coos River in Oregon in the US. Scorpions known as Hadrurus arizonis from Arizona. Spiders known as Araneus diatomatus collected around the university campus among other species. Nereid worms have strong jaws that allow them to move around under the sand. Their jaws have concentrations of zinc as high as 18%, which allows them to protect against abrasion due to grains of sand while digging. Hadrurus arizonensis, the giant desert hairy scorpion, is the largest scorpion in North America. The species has crab-like pincers that allows them to feed on insects, crabs and small invertebrates. These pincers have up to 25% zinc along with another metal, manganese. Arrhenius diarematus or the European garden spider would have a hard time piercing through the exoskeleton of beetles were it not for the nearly 16% of zinc in its fangs. These results highlight how important material properties can be in reducing the forces and energy that would be required by organisms to feed or defend themselves. Heavy element biomaterials make food and energy sources available to these organisms whose bodies do not have the ability to store a lot of energy. As the size of the animal increases, these energy savings become more relevant. In fact, research has shown that the fact that humans learned to cook their food saved them a lot of energy, which is what set them apart from other primates. It also gave us an evolutionary edge. Eating cooked food has changed our bodies over years, giving us smaller mouths and smaller guts. As a result, we have bigger brains and more time to use those brains instead of having to spend time and energy foraging and chewing raw meat and vegetables all day long. Heavy element biomaterials is nature's way of giving animals food processors. They may also make longer lives possible for small critters by reducing tool damage and they likely play an essential role in the ecology and evolution of a broad range of organisms. Not just that, human engineers may also learn from this biological trick. According to the researchers, the hardness of the ant teeth increases from about the hardness of plastic to the hardness of aluminum when the zinc is added. At the same time, the hardness does not make the materials brittle. Understanding what makes materials stronger and more damage resistant requires the understanding of the materials at the atomic scale. By studying such microstructures at the atomic scale, we can better understand how altering the compositions of material changes its damage resistance and behavior over time. This is especially important for designing structures that need to withstand aging for many decades. The knowledge may also come in handy for creating microscopic tools for medical therapies or other engineering applications. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, you can now join The Print's YouTube membership to get special membership perks such as early access to our key reports as well as exclusive community content on the YouTube channel. You can do so through the link in the description box below.